What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Winnie101 here, and today I am going to be doing uh, what I believe is the first unboxing or unopening of the 2015 International Dota 2 Compendium. Uh, I bought this from the store a couple of minutes ago, not very long ago. Uh, you can see here, I did buy it at level 50 straight up so I could show you guys what you get in it, in it straight away. So it's sort of don't have to play for hours and hours and hours. So, yeah. And sorry for the lack of videos recently. I just haven't really gotten around to doing anything. And schoolwork, you guys at the school, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, year 11, pain in the ass. So, yeah. All right. So as you can see here, Legendary Tournament Compendium for, I believe, the main tournament's in August, but we do have the qualifiers coming up soon. So it's a... As it says, the next best, next best thing to being there. Uh, and yeah, so if we can, we're going to activate the compendium now, I guess. Are you sure you want to activate this Dota 2 program? Yes, I do want to activate it. All right, so as you can see, congratulations. Your compendium has now reached level 50 straight away. Bam. Uh, so continue that. You've got done a trophy, already got a trophy straight away, uh, and we got the International 2015 Coin Charm, we got the Immortal Pet, for its Armand the Front Dealer, I think you can add Axe, Bristleback, Centaur, War Runner, uh, I think there's more, I'll, I'll have a look though, but there you go, the Coin Charm as well, so we got two Coin Charms, so... Um, additional information. This charm allows you to make a victory prediction that all pick matches do earn rewards. It does not need to be equipped. And apparently I have two of them. Not tradable or deletable. So, I have no idea why I got two. But yeah, so there we go. Here we got our armadillo. The frondillo is used by multiple heroes and it's a summoned unit. It is used by Axe, Bristleback, Centaur, Wall Runner, Earthshaker, Juggernaut, Legion Commander, Ricky, Slark, and Sven. And it is only available to level 50 Compendium users. Uh, so as you can see up here, we've now got an activated Compendium. We've got our little ring around us because, you know, yeah. So if we click on the Compendium, there we go here. Uh, we've got our Compendium. So Seattle, of, it's in Seattle, uh, August 3 to 8th. It goes on my birthday, everyone celebrate the crap out of that. That's amazing. Um, the International Dota 2 Championship this summer, the two top teams, the, the top Dota 2 teams in the world descend on Seattle to compete on for the 2015 Championship. Watch the event in person at Seattle's Key Arena or stream every minute of the action in the Dota 2 client or online at Dota2.com. I'm sure there'll be heaps and heaps of uh, uh, Twitch streams as well. Uh, I might even do a Twitch commentary of them if you guys really want. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that. So, yeah, so invite predictions. Um, so you can get your invites here. from So from the Americas, we have potential invitees. We have Complexity, e EG, Ehug, Void Boys, Not Today, Paid Gaming, Team Tinker, Union Gaming, and Real Wheel Wreck While Whistling. I've never heard of this team before, but EG, for sure, are going to get in this year. Uh, not today. Uh, actually, uh, the Comeback Kings, I, pl I watch them a lot in the Summit 3. They, um, they, they really came back in a lot of matches. They were down, especially in the Dota 2 Lounge bets. They were down like when they're usually 20% or 10%, and they came back to win the best out of three, and I know they did it. They won against Vici and EG, uh, DK as well, so they're really. Can, I reckon they might get in this year. Um, Cedar Gaming, never heard of them. DK uh, were in the TI last year, so yeah. Ehome, uh, a pretty good Chinese team at the moment, actually. Um, I can't really pick up specifics on players, but I have watched them a little bit. But and they are a pretty good team at the moment. Classic, classic Chinese Dota team, farming all day. Hyper Glory team, uh, also from China, obviously. Uh, these guys, uh, they 
actually are really, really good. They are amazing at the moment, and I would not be surprised if they got invited to TI this year. Um, yeah. So IG, 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 IG. The competing between IG and Vici are arguably the best two teams in the world at the moment, in my opinion, anyway. Um, Vici and, and IG have just st- stomped, stomped a lot in recent um, competitions. Uh, and they really did well in the Dota 2 Asia Championships as well. So LGD uh, also did very well in the Summit, in the Summit 2 and 3. Uh, yeah, not really. you can't say really much bad things about these guys. Uh, Newbie, they were in the um, TI last year uh, in the Asia Championships as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they've done really, really well in tournaments, and but I wouldn't expect them to get. I reckon they might get to TI, but I wouldn't expect them to go very far or make it into the finals at least. Uh, Tong Fu, uh, really good team at the moment as well. There are a lot of good Chinese teams out at the moment, a lot of good teams in general. So these are all really, really good teams. Uh, Tong Fu, uh, yeah, um, they have a really solid mid game. Uh, they usually keep themselves alive early-ish game, or the only way to really beat these guys is in the early game. You need to really pick early game because they usually dominate mid-game and then they do really well early-late. Early-late-ish. Uh, Vici, I've said much of them before. Team Malaysia, haven't really seen them or these guys or First Departure. Invasion are doing okay, uh, really. They're all right. At the moment, so and Mininsky, Mininsky. I have betted against these guys a lot, and always found that my items have suddenly disappeared out of my inventory because these guys are just really good. <laughs> they are a really good team at the moment, and I expect them to get to the semis this year. Um, believe in you guys. Don't make me ruin my mistake or decision to come back and back you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, MVP Phoenix. I haven't... I've seen them play a couple of games. They're an um, alright-ish team. Won't make it to the finals this year. Uh, Signature Trust, never heard of them. Rave, a little bit. I've heard of them a little bit, but not much. Uh, four Anchors and a Sea Captain. These guys, apart from the really crappy paint drawing graphics, are, are an alright Dota team. They... Do a fair bit. They um, they've been playing. They played in the summit. I think I've been watching a lot of the summit. So, uh, yeah. So that's why I've seen them. They play all right. Um, yeah. And Alliance. If you guys haven't heard of Alliance, please research up on your Dota history. Alliance were the 2013 winners or the winners of the 2013. International or TI3, as it's more formally known, they had arguably the best final series in the history of Dota ever. They had... If, if you haven't seen the games, I will link them down below. It's They were the best games I've ever watched. They are honestly... I don't even know why they aren't invited straight away. They stomped in TI3, but they have been going downhill a bit recently, but I am Alliance fan all the way. Um, even though a lot of people have left them at the moment, it's they, they're going to come back, and I reckon they're going to do it in TI. So Alliance all the way. Come on, guys. Uh, Virtuous Pro, uh, again, a very... Com- very good <laughs> competitor in um, the recent championships, t- uh, Summit 2, Summit 3. I think they were at Asian Asia Championships. No idea, really. So, yeah. Um, Virtual Pro will get to the finals this year. Hellraisers, uh, I've heard of them a little bit. Oh, here we go. The Pinnacle Team Secret. So, if... <laughs> 
if you guys haven't heard of Team Secret lately, they have basically taken the five best Dota 2 players in the ever at the ever ever oh, at the moment, and they have placed them into one team. Team Secret. They came out. They pulled out a. Um, they were a small team earlier. Um, they had Big Daddy before he moved to um, Cloud Nine. I think it was Cloud Nine Empire. Um, but and they've got they got Puppy S Four. Um, I can't I can't call recall it off off the top of my head. But these guys, they the team pulled out of um, Starlight of Six due to roster changes. And they came back in the tournaments with five of the best Dota 2 players in the league. And they are stomping at the moment. I would not be surprised if these guys get to the grand finals this year. Team Secret are going to be a powerhouse to be reckoned with. Uh, put your bets behind them. 96%, it'll be, they'll be in the finals. 96% chance they'll be in the finals, I reckon. And yeah, Cloud9. Cloud9, Cloud9. Um, Cloud9, if you haven't heard, is a team of um, European, uh, Asian players, really. Um, uh, Sig Sig at the moment is arguably one of the best mid heroes, mid, mid off lane um, heroes at the moment. He is a very lovable person. Uh, he's just really what he's funny 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 as um got a twitch twitch uh channel as well so go pop onto that but cloud nine might get in this to ti at all this year they might i don't know but yeah team empire i've been doing okay recently um not too sure on what they've been placed recently but yeah and of course navi the winners of TI2, um, 2012 International, and home to the most loved, uh, the funniest, and arguably the best mid hero in the comp, uh, Dendi, Navi Dendi. Uh, they're a Ukrainian team that have that were stomping when they had they had Puppy in as in, and now Puppy's Puppy's left and. They haven't really. They were, they were they were going downhill before he left, but they had reached their peak. Peak, but um, I've they've had a massive role shake up. They've brought back uh, art style and someone else, but um, yeah, I reckon Sammy's this year for Navi Ninjas in Pajamas. Sorry, I've never heard of you. Uh, so next page. The prize pool. So this is the stretch goals for this year. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, we've already donated 1.6 million. This the compendium has only been out today, and 1.6 million has already been achieved, and we're already 79 percent of the way to two million. The donor community is really getting behind the TI this year. Um, I really hope we get to 10 because I've already bought it earlier and yeah, you know, want to get all the stretch goals. So, um, compendium challenges, uh, have been unlocked and we've got 1.9 million at the moment in. So stretch goal two to unlock the cursor pack for TA and stretch goal three, unlock the ability for compendium owners to vote on place for the all-star match. Please to God, let there be an all-star match. Like... <laughs> All star match, uh, especially TI three All Star match was amazing. <laughs> TI three was the best ever, be the best competition. Watch the grand finals, please, just please. <laughs> um, okay, three million unlock the first immortal treasure, which is uh, treasure goal four, treasure goal five. Unlock the ability for competitive bonus to vote on which hero should receive the next arcana. Io Arcana. Come on, guys. Volvo, we need our Io Arcana. So put down in the comments, hashtag Io Arcana, please. Um, Meg's just spam that down there. And uh, we'll see if we can get a vote together, see if we can get this Io, Io unlocked. So, yeah. 
Okay, TI5, uh, Effigy Reforger Pack. Uh, 4 million, Stretch Goal 6, Stretch Goal 7, Low Digger Screen Treasure at 4.5 million, Stretch Goal 8, uh, use Unlock a new set of emoticons that could be used in Dota 2 Chat, 5 million, Stretch Goal 9, the new HUD for TI5, that's going to be exciting actually, 5.5 million, and then last but not least, I think, uh, Stretch Goal 10, Unlock a Treasure for new taunts that could be used in matches, that's 6 million. Oh, we're still going here, Jesus. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go 11, 6.5 million. Unlock the Watcher Below Ward. Uh, stretch goal 12. Unlock the second Immortal Treasure at 7 million. Uh, stretch goal 13, 8 million. Unlock the Dota 2 Short Film Contest. I'll be excited for this. If this does happen, I'm going to be excited. Uh, 14 million. Uh, 14 million. 14 stretch goal at 9 million. Unlock the new Wyvern Hatchling Courier. Uh, based off the new character Winter Wyvern, not really new, but was it Asian Asia? So yeah, uh, ten million. I look at the third Immortal Treasure. Search got fifteen. Desert terrain, music pack, due to announcer, new weather effects. I'm gonna be excited for this. Uh, and a special Immortal item for Axe and the long form Axe comic at fifteen million. My next reward is the manual fearsome moves apparently and. This, I want this. This, I want this so bad. The Enigma World Chasm Artifact. How cool does that black hole look? It's, it's, I don't even know. It's brilliant. So yeah, here we go. Um, all the level rewards of what you get. I am getting multiple immortal treasures. The emoticon pack and I'm getting a heap of stuff when it all comes out. Um, Yeah. And all of these it will become available when the stretch goal happens. So yeah. Uh, level 250, gold effigy block and 350, 325% challenge going rate. Uh, compendium achievements. All right, so I'll be, I'll be doing all these soon. We'll be doing it now. Wyvern Hatchling Courier. So as you can see, based off Winter Wyvern. Uh, I think that's the flying version. I think. Maybe. Um, destroy any barracks before the game timer reaches 30 minutes. Uh, kill Roshan before the game, game timer reaches 20 minutes. Person's radiance before the game timer reaches 30 minutes. Um, might be doing these soon. The secret shop. Um, current challenge can raise 100. So this is something new incorporated this year. Uh, Whenever you play games, you unlock coins, and if you get um, enough coins, you can get items or sets from the secret shop this year. Uh, my immortal collection unlocked at $3 million, $7 million, $2 million. Uh, yeah, so we get heaps and heaps of treasures. When it gets unlocked, please unlock them. Appendix, nothing here because it hasn't started yet. So that, guys, is the immortal... Uh, the Immortal, the Compendium for this year, TI5 Compendium. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a while. Um, and I, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any predictions and stuff, TI5, leave them down below. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, have a great day. Sorry for there's no face cam. My laptop is broken. It's into being repaired. And honestly, I. I just don't know why. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. Get it to the top of the rankings. So you know it's one of the first ones out there. And I want people to come over here and look at my look at my content. It's not complete crap if you are here. Just chuck us a, chuck us a subscription, or just follow the channel in general, and you'll see that I will start putting out great um great uh, content out more out soon. So, yeah. Um, oh, keep on. I'm gonna keep. I'm keep on going here. But uh, uh yeah. So <laughs> I'm blabbering on a lot. So leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, suggesting what you would want from coverage for this TI tournament. Obviously, I'm not going to TI. Sorry. Uh, probably other channels that do that. I sixteen. They. Cannot afford first of all to go to TA, and nor 
can I physically with work and stuff? So, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Um, and I will see you later.